scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your souls. Hey guys, it's Nick from us here, and today I'm going to be bringing you the comic rundown on the 8th Mortal Kombat X comic book. Let's get started. So right from the start we see Raiko is trying to deceive Melina into thinking that Goro is untrustworthy and that Raiko is trustworthy, but as we know, Raiko is far from trustworthy and once he gets the chance he's just going to try and take the throne from Melina, which leads me to believe Raiko will be dying in these comics, which makes me pretty happy. Here we finally get to see Rain, and people have noted that his costume looks similar to his Mortal Kombat 9 one. And it does, but there are small differences, like as you can see the uh, mask is now a mask and not a veil. And the flesh around his eyes is actually kind of darker, more of a black coloring. But uh, it's definitely different than the Mortal Kombat 9 one, just not severely. Anyways, Goro summons him to blot out the sun, and so that Kotal Kahn will be weakened for the fight. Enter Blood God Kotal Kahn. Here we see Rain getting fried by Kotal Kahn's sunbeam. Now, you are all thinking that he, oh no, Rain is dead, he's not in Mortal Kombat X. He's not dead. Sean Kittleson, the writer for these comic books, has confirmed on his Twitter that Rain is still alive, but he is going to be heavily mutilated, and I can only imagine what he's going to look like next time we see him. We then get to see the blood god Kotal Kahn destroying some red dragon thugs in a brutal way. Now, here's the fight we've all been waiting for. Kotal Kahn versus Goro. Although this is a short fight, it looks like Goro's gonna win. He's beating the crap out of Kotal Kahn. Nope. In the last comic, whenever Kotal Kahn said he was going to disarm Goro, he meant literally. He removes the forearms from the Shokan Prince, leaving Goro bloodied and battered. It was brutal. He rips off one and cuts off the other three, leaving Goro's mutilated torso just sitting there. He's still alive at this point, by the way. Kotal's allies show up. Devora, Ferator, Reptile. The three badasses on Kotal's team. Now, I actually want you guys to tell me in the comments below which team you are. Team Goro, which would be Melina, Raiko, Rain, and Goro, or Team Kotal, Devora, Ferator, Reptile, Aaron Black, and Kotal Khan. I'm personally Team Kotal, because the team's badass, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think. We see Goro begging for mercy, asking Kotal Khan to finish him. Kotal, however, does not oblige and leaves him there, armless and just embarrassed. Oh no, Kotal Khan has been attacked. It looks like he's been shot. I wonder by who? None other than Sonya Blade looking for Cassie Cage. Now, this clearly means that we're going to be seeing something very interesting in the next comic, which could very possibly be Kotal Khan versus Sonya Blade. But I just want to point this out right now. We literally just saw Kotal Kahn get the snot kicked out of him by Goro and take a fireball to the face. Please explain to me somebody why a bullet hurts him. I really don't understand that part. Like, that just didn't make sense to me. But anyways, this was an interesting comic. I really enjoyed seeing Kotal, like, just wreck Goro. Because honestly, I'm getting so into this story with the comics that I was actually getting angry at Goro through these reading reading it today when I was reading it I was actually getting my blood was boiling as I was reading Goro's lines and stuff and I was just like Kotal Kahn please kill him or something and as I said in my last comic video I didn't think Goro was going to die I thought he would get like severely injured and that we would think he was dead or something like that I was kind of right we see that here he's missing his arms so I'm thinking it'll go down like this uh, Goro will disappear for a while and then someone like Quan Chi or maybe Shang Tsung will be revived. Anyway, somebody, maybe even a new person, will come and offer Goro something. It'll be, he can help him regrow his arms and get revenge on Kotal as long as Goro sides with him and gives him his allegiance. That's how I think Goro will get his arms back. Either that or they're just not gonna obviously give us Goro the armless Shokan as DLC. <laughs> can you imagine that? Goro with no arms as DLC? <laughs> He'd be one of the worst characters in the game. But anyways, uh, yes, this was definitely a good read. Uh, just let me know down in the comments what you guys think, and don't forget to tell me if you're Team Kotal or Team Goro. As always, this has been Nick from us. See you later. Let's see how he likes a Kamehameha!